Hi everybody and welcome back to day four of Vlogmas. I am having so much fun doing Vlogmas with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And just thank you so much for everything. This is super exciting. And I'm with Nick and I was craving in and out so bad. I wish I could bite right away, I could not resist. So I'm like, let's go get in and out I haven't had it in such a long time. When was the last time you had in and out Um... A while. A while, right? I didn't even know. Why? I don't know. We don't go. So I have. Let me tell you guys what I get. So Did you hear? What? In Colorado, they open up like the first. Yeah. Day. Fourteen hours, people waited. What? In line. Not me. I no, not me. I would have waited. So it's so. And today I have a topic I actually want to talk to you guys about. But let me tell you my order. So usually I get a cheeseburger animal style with extra whole grilled onions. I get the animal fries with no cheese, because I just think they put too much cheese on there from my taste. I get pepperoncinis on the side, and you guys know how much I love my little ketchup packets, so here we go. <laughs> now, I know somebody said, <coughs> oh my God, that one really hit hard. That's gross. I know someone said, you think it's gross? I've been doing it since I was a little kid. A lot of people do do it. I, I've been literally doing it like since I was a little girl, like I think when I was five years old. And by the way, some of you guys had said that that wasn't sanitary, but I usually run water over it. I wipe it with a baby wipe. I'm like, I can't even talk in here. Okay, so let me take a bite and I want to talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind lately. And I think you guys are going to like this video. Mm. Oh, oh, good. Really good. Mm. Hands down. I am such an In-N-Out lover, like no joke. It's literally one of my most favorite ones. Some people like Five Guys. Have you had that? Mm, once. I like that one too. But this is for me the bomb.com. Do people even say that anymore? Am I just old? You're just old. Man. I'm just old. Okay. So here's a topic. By the way, Nick, I'm dying after the ketchup thing and the pepperoncini in my throat. Oh I'm my gosh, you're sweating. Am I? I mean, it's like really hot. Okay. All right, so I want to talk about this topic. So usually in the past, I mean, things are changing as I see it literally with my friends and right in front of my eyes. I've seen younger women with older wealthy men. And in my culture, that's how it used to be. Like my dad, I think is 15 or 17 years older than my mom. And I know that when I was, was it around 24, 25, my parents wanted me to get married. And they were like, you know, they were bringing suitors over to the house and they were, all plastic surgeons, actually, by the way. Mm. I could have used that now, right? Should Exactly, exactly, thank mm. you. But they were at least 10 to 15 years older than I was. And when I was like really young, like at 24, 25, to me, that just seemed like ridiculous. Like I couldn't be with a man who was like, they were balding and, you know, doctors, they study so much, they lose all their hair. And I just felt that that was like way too old for me. But as I got older, it, like the age difference didn't really make that much of a difference. And I think since my divorce, I've been, yeah, I'm still dying with this pepperoncini. And I think since my divorce, I've been with primarily like older men, just it, because, I don't know, it just feels right to me. At least a few years older, I feel they're so stable and they make me feel secure. It's just, but I'm also been attracted to that. But recently I've noticed a lot of older women like even much older women dating very young men. And I noticed that it's a trend. And I've been, I've had some like young men be attracted to me and actually want to date me. And I'm like, really? Like why? You have your pick of the litter with all these young, beautiful girls. Why would you want to be with somebody older? So I wonder if they think the same thing as what women have thought for so many years is that if you date someone who's older, kind of established, it comes with like security and um i don't know just having a feeling of security knowing that okay well she's established she's got everything she's older she's maybe more mature who knows though and it's like it will be better for me especially someone who has a child and they've had a child at a young age maybe they're thinking this is my thinking they're thinking that well she's a mom already so she could like help mother my child and i have one of my bestest friends from high school she's been getting hit up left she's like 45 46 like me um she's been getting so many like guys in their 30s like young 30s wanted to really actually date her and like move in with her and live with her and I was talking to her about this I was like isn't it weird 
it's for me and please you guys i'm doing this video because i want to really know what you guys are thinking so for me i almost think it's embarrassing if i'm with a younger man but if i'm with somebody who's older i don't think it's embarrassing which is weird it should be the other way around right nick yes wife but how's your sandwich let me take a bite you guys it's really good really I'm trying to fix your laptop mm. Mm -hmm. you're welcome mm. i'm sorry about how i eat you guys this is why the burger's so juicy there's no other way of eating it Okay. They like to see you get down with their food. Oh, well, thank you so much. He's <laughs> eating over there too, trying to fix my laptop. Um, so what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on that, Nick? I think everyone's circumstance in life is different. Yeah. And it's hard to um, say like, oh, one way's right, one way's not right. Right. It's just like everyone does something different. I just say like. Feel free, like, go with the flow. Do what works for you. True. I mean, look at Chris mm. Jenner. I think she's in her 60s, right? Yeah, she's dating Corey. And she's dating Corey, who's like 35. And they seem to be so happy. They get along so much better. Maybe that's the key, though. Maybe the new norm Would is older women. Did you say no or yes already? I didn't hit was No. Side. No, I didn't say no or yes. I, I don't know. I think, I mean, I don't know. What would they want me for? Do they think just because I have money and I live in a nice house or I have a nice car that they'd have that same stability and security if they Maybe date they me? You. Do you think somebody could really younger fall in love with me? No, I don't know. Like how young? Are we talking 40s or 30s? Um, no, I'm talking like 30s. I mean, there's definitely like gain. What do you mean gain? For them. True. Kind of like if I date an Unless older- Unless they're like within like the same like eco status. No. It, it's not the same. It never will be. It never will be. That's how it is. And um, I mean, I don't say never ever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to say never ever. I think it could work with a younger man for a little bit, but I think long term, like as one person ages, that would be unfortunately me. Um, I think the gap would get bigger and bigger between like what we'd want. You know. Also, were you in an arranged marriage? No, it wasn't arranged, but, and I'm married American, mm -hmm. you know, and my parents always wanted me to marry a doctor because they're both doctors. Did they care if they were Persian? Not so much, like they would have preferred someone who's Persian because of the culture, the language, you know, just the way we raise our kids and the way we are with family, etc. They would have preferred it. But at the end of the day, they didn't care what religion they were, what race they were. They were just like, the only thing they said to me is, just please marry a doctor. That's all they cared about. You didn't marry a doctor. I didn't marry a doctor. I will never date a doctor and I will never ever go out with a doctor or wow. dentist. Because I just think, I don't know, I, I like businessmen. Mm. Like for me, that, that's always been exciting. Like my ex-husband was a businessman. He's still a businessman, you know? Like that for me was exciting, the thought of business. Because I'm a really good businesswoman. I'm a dentist, but I'm also really good at doing business. So for me, I want to talk to my significant other about that, you know? But what happened, Nick, and I don't know if a lot of you Persians out there from other like cultures relate to this. I, as you guys know, I came to this country. So would that be, I'm first generation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I came to this country, first generation. So we brought a lot of the cultures from my, um, my country, Iran, here. It wasn't like I was born here or my parents were born here. So in my country, it's not arranged marriage, but a girl by a certain age has to meet with suitors and get married or doesn't look good on her. And this was then. So it, this was like 20 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, around 20 years ago. My parents were like, listen, you're turning 25, you're graduating dental school. Now is the time to seal the deal or people are going to kind of think things, you know? And so in a way, I met my ex-husband. It was the right timing. Um, and we got married had kids the whole thing it didn't work out um because i think in my heart of hearts i never ever wanted to get married nick you know and I, yeah no seriously and i don't i honestly don't think i would ever gonna i don't think i've said this so many times i don't think i'm ever gonna get married again i think you say that you think i'll get married again i think if you find the right one I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I could eventually, as my girls get older, certainly live with someone. Um, because obviously, like, 
Nicolette's 18, she has her own place. Event Blair's gonna be like in ninth grade next year. She's like gonna be 14. So it's like four more years and she's gonna be in college or you know living on her own most likely. Not that I'm kicking her out. She, both my girls are welcome here for the rest of their lives. But um, obvious, obviously they wanna move on and do their thing. So then I'd be lonely. I mean, imagine living in this house by myself. What do you tell your daughters? What do you mean? Like <clears throat> about marriage and finding the right person. Um, like, do you like have any like? You want me to be super honest? Like, yeah. Super uber honest. Okay, so I've told both my children: if you do, you need um, a prenup, solid, hardcore prenup. That's very honest. I'm very honest. And honestly, I've told them like, just be really careful, like, who you have kids with and when you have kids, because I love my daughter so much, but I sacrifice so much of my life because I had them super young, for me at least. You know, I literally, this is what happened. It's like, I went to high school, college, straight into dental school, residency, and I got pregnant on my residency. So I kind of felt like I've worked so hard. I've done so much with my life. I'm super proud of myself. Graduated first, top of my class at Tufts, and then boom, I'm married and I'm pregnant. So in a way, I don't think, is there somebody else at the door again? It's my brother, because it's both. Have him come in and say hi. I think what happened with me is because I got married so fast. I literally knew my ex husband less than a year and I was in Boston, long distance, so we didn't see each other much. And then also, immediately on my honeymoon, I got pregnant. So I personally, in my heart, I felt like everything was just so fast, so quick, so overnight. And I always felt like I missed out on having fun during those early years. In my culture, I couldn't live with a guy until marriage. I couldn't like, just a lot you can't do so i didn't live with my ex-husband and i didn't know that there's even though he's a wonderful person but i didn't know that we had so many differences in our personalities and how we viewed the home life the raising kids etc we were not similar at all like night and day and if i would have lived with him even in a few months i would have gotten to know that so i think i want to be here to just really break up a lot of like the cultural boundaries and cultural expectations of like you have to get married by a certain age you can't live with a person you know you have to have kids right away etc because i went through really hard times being a very young mom trying to start my businesses not even knowing my husband well and having a child with him like overnight so for me even though everything worked out and I have two beautiful daughters and I have a great life but it, it was it was hard it was hard so that's why sometimes when people are like, you act so immature, you're 46, Nina, try to like act a little bit more mature. And I'm like, okay, well, I missed out on it earlier and I'm a professional, I have my own job, I do everything. So what's the point? Like, why should I not have fun? Like on TikTok, even on here, on Instagram, like I disagree with that 100%. And I don't think there's an age limit on that. I hope this video is useful. I'm learning a lot for myself. No, no, I'm just kidding. So I'm really curious because more and more, like when I'm out and about, I'm seeing like really young, handsome men with like women in their forties and it's becoming the new norm. And I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I think that's totally okay. Did you give him his phone? Yeah, he wants to say hi to his future ex-wife. Bring him in because we're talking marriage. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Nick's brother's here. This is the first time I'm meeting him. So, um, I literally, and I just asked the question, like, would you go back and date someone who's younger with a young child? I'm asking my audience. Maybe they would. Maybe. <gasps> Hi, how are you? You guys, I'm going to pause the video for a second. So he might, my, my future ex-husband is probably walking in the door right now. I have to sign a, I have to have him sign a, what is it? A, a prenup. A, and a prenup. And a non-disclosure. And I, a non-disclosure. And so Nick's brother's here. And I asked, I asked some questions from him about like because he's what you're 28 mm -hmm. okay um and about like younger women versus older and he was saying say it say it in your own words <laughs> so girls at like 21 years old to 25 year old act completely different so a 21 year old just wants to party they don't really want anything serious they just want to go have fun 
once you get to 25, it gets to more of a it's more settled down, but they're still in the stage of their life where they're trying to figure out who they are. Mm. Not really trying to settle down. I see. So as you get to like 30 to 35 year old women, they're more understanding of what they want and they're more active to get what they want and get married and settle down. Oh, that makes sense. You want to get married? <laughs> yes, I'd love to get married. Do you want kids? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, so let me give you the advice I give to my children. <laughs> we need the last three years of tax returns. We need a prenup immediately. And what else? Um, prenup. Background check. <laughs> Everything in the book. Everything, because you know they might have and another- And you have to live with them. Oh, and you have to live with them for at least a year. Growing up, you know, in high school, I couldn't even date a guy. One time some guy called me um, to ask me to go to movies as a group. And, you know, my parents got so mad. They're like, Nina, in our culture, you don't talk to a boy, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? It's just a movie. Because I was becoming more and more American, you know? And not that I wasn't leaving my culture, but I was taking the good of my culture, but also the good of the American, like, way. And I couldn't understand. I was so confused. But then, and I couldn't obviously live with a guy before marriage. So I got married and we moved into our condo, like, after the honeymoon. And by then I was very pregnant. And from day one, no, seriously. Oh. No seriously that's like the story of my life and from day one i realized our living habits are like completely like i'm here he's here so i have a question yes to your critics on youtube who say like you're middle eastern you should be more conservative like just because you live in america you don't have to like follow those ideals what do you say to that because i'm sure people are going to say that because what you're you're like very uh forward thinking right now i'm well, I've always been forward thinking. Like I grew up in Europe for a little bit of my time, obviously in my country in Tehran. But um, I don't, to my critics, <laughs> to my critics, to my critics, you know, who, again, like, why are you doing that? I don't have anything to say. I'm sorry that you have to judge me. That's what I think. I'm sorry for you that you have to judge me because I am an independent woman I make my own money I'm a professional doctor and I feel like as long as I'm not hurting anybody I don't necessarily have to be conservative and I can be who I want to be I want to be happy every day when I wake up and being me being the crazy funny who knows what's gonna happen in my house or somewhere else Nina makes me happy and I'm true to myself you guys know that from day one I've never stated that I'm conservative. I've never stated that I'm crazy wild. I just wake up and decide to do whatever I want to do. My rule is don't hurt anyone, obviously intentionally, be good to people, be kind to people. And the rest of it is honestly just a matter of preference, you know? And I've, I was raised, even though I was raised very conservative regarding men and marriage and dating, but I was raised um, with a modern mom in the sense that she was one of the three medical students in her country of three female you know the rest were men so she was forward thinking then too and my father is extremely forward thinking he did his medical studies in england so he's very european so i think i was raised with not just a persian background the iranian but also european background what got sort of muddled in there was this this was 20 years ago obviously we've come a long way since then and we just came with those cultural you know the cultural things that my mom had to go through you know like my mom was, I think she was 19 when she got married. I don't know, 21, something like that. She did. Yeah, she <clears throat> met my, no, they didn't even meet. Oh, they met, they met, they talked on the phone. They met um, with the family in the, in the room. That's what happens usually, by the way, you know, mom and dad sit here, mom and dad sit here. Sometimes there's grandparents, everybody. You meet with the family in the room. She was married like three weeks later. Lovely. And that's, that's that. So I came from a family who as modern as, they were as modern as they could be, but still they had that culture. And this is the other thing to those critics. I love my Persian culture. I'm proud of the fact that I was born in Tehran. I'm proud of the fact that I'm an American citizen right now. I'm proud of the fact that I celebrate Persian New Year, Christmas, Hanukkah, everything, because I think we're all human and I accept all religions, all races, all cultures. But more than anything, I really enjoy being with people who accept themselves for who they are and who love themselves for what they do. I think I covered everything. So I really, on this video, I want you guys to really be engaged in the comments and I'm gonna spend some extra time to really respond to you guys because I'm kind of curious. Do I date younger? Do I date older? Or should you just say single? Or should I just say single? What is, what is my- Single and alone! Or should I say single and alone? And I'm actually fine. I'm fine being single. I'm fine being with somebody else. You know why? Because I'm content with myself. 
And I think the, the one thing I want you guys to take from this video is you cannot be in a relationship unless you're 100% content with yourself. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and like this video, leave comments, subscribe, and follow my other socials at Nina Gray, at Chef Nina Gray on TikTok. And what was, oh, <laughs> I was like, this is Vlogmas. Oh, this is Vlogmas number four. Day four, you guys were doing so well. And remember, always keep Vlogmasing.